Hi, my name is Jeff Williams. Uh, for over 20 years I've been a NASA astronaut. Uh, most of my career has been dedicated to the International Space Station. I've been there four times, accumulating about a year and a half in space. My educational background was uh, I, after I graduated from high school in northern Wisconsin, I went off to the military academy at West Point, and that started a career in the Army. I spent 27 years in the Army, and during that career, got a, um, uh, an opportunity to go to graduate school, uh, getting a master's degree in aeronautical engineering. I had several influential teachers as I uh, went through the grades. Probably the, on the top of the list, uh, of course, was my father. He was a high school teacher, history teacher. When I went through high school, he was also the guidance counselor. So, of course, uh, like uh, many of us, uh, my father influenced me probably more than any other person. I've had many jobs uh, during life. Uh, growing up, uh, I, as soon as I was old enough to swing a hammer, I was learning carpentry with my grandfather, uh, which uh, was a, a very uh, good life lesson for me early on in my, in my childhood. I also grew up on a dairy farm, so I was involved in uh, many of the aspects of uh, bringing in the hay or, or the oats or, of course, uh, milking the cows. Uh, I worked in a lumber yard for a while. I was a, a dishwasher uh, in a restaurant on weekends uh, during my last couple of years in high school. So I did a variety of odd jobs uh, prior to uh, entering the Army. You're at the age where you're going to start developing your interest and identifying your interest uh, as you complete middle school, go on to high school and then beyond. And it's during that time that you really want to pay attention to your interest and pursue them. Uh, and they will eventually develop in the passions. Um, and of course, you want, want to be working hard uh, toward your interest, uh, and you want to be working hard in school in general. It is very important to be able to communicate well, accurately, precisely, uh, whether it be spoken or written in whatever we do. We want to be able to communicate with others, and that's two-way communication. We want to be able to transmit our ideas and that takes some thought and preparation to put them together and then put them into words and then either speak them or write them down. Writing is particularly hard. I've done plenty of writing in my career and it takes a lot of work. The first draft is not the final. And of course the other part of communication is receiving and uh, that's just as important. So it, it's very important to learn how to listen to those around us uh, to take into their ideas and, and evaluate them. How do I react when I don't know the answer to something? Well, uh, often I will say, I don't know the answer. Uh, and that's key. It's key to understand when we don't fully understand uh, a, a particular topic or subject. And it's also important to be able to admit uh, that fact. Uh, and then to go take the time to learn from others, to learn from other resources, uh, do the study and to inform ourselves, especially on the more important topics. We all have experienced failure in life and those are the challenges that, uh, that all of us uh, either have experienced or will experience in the future. The key is how we respond to them uh, so that ultimately in the end we navigate through them, we persevere. Personally, one example that I like to, uh, to communicate to, uh, to young people especially is uh, getting to this job. I set a goal in the 70s uh, to be an astronaut. I started applying in 1985. I applied over 10 years, six applications to NASA, interviewing three times, suffering uh, many disappointments over that, those 10 years, thinking that maybe I would never get the opportunity, but perseverance paid off, and I finally was selected after that 10-year uh, process of application.